Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. If you have not already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel as I do load videos on a fairly consistent basis. And if you hit that little notification bell, you'll always be notified when I do upload a new video. Now this is um, going to be a plan with me for the week of the 25th through the 3rd of March, but I did want to do a quick flip through. I don't like the currently page, so I just covered it up with a coloring page that I like. Um, I'm not going to color in it, I don't, I don't think I will, um, but I, I like that I don't see the currently page. If you've been following me, I have been doing a, a random doodle challenge and this month uh, it was or it is the Muppets and so this is what I've gotten done so far. This was the first week of February. Second week of February. Third week of February and then the final week of February. And so the plan with me that we'll be doing is actually in the first week of March because it does go into March. And all of February, I did a pen only challenge, no stickers at all. And I really like how this is looking. So I think I'm going to continue that. And for this planner, I might just continue that just as an ongoing thing. So the currently page I have yet to cover up. And if that's something that you'd like to see me do, I mean, I'm basically just going to be sticking a coloring page to here. Uh, let me know in the description box below. So we are in March, or we will be. I have not figured out what challenge I will be doing for the March monthly overview. This is my social media and my business planner in my big happy planner. Uh, the doodling has nothing to do with social media or business, but I do like to see a full monthly overview. I don't actually need this for planning purposes and I, it, it just makes me happy. So that's why I'm doing the doodles both in the monthly overview, which I started in February, but I have been doodling um, for a few months now in my actual weekly plan with me's. So for this week, um, as I always tend to do, I've already reconfigured my vertical layout into my DIY dashboard layout, and I just used my Sakura Jelly Roll 8 pen in white to white out the lines. It doesn't fully take out the lines, but it takes it out enough for me, and a uh, rather than um, white out tape or liquid white out, um, it's definitely a finer line. So um, it does, especially when you write over it, there is no ridging to it at all. And um, it seems to just recede more so than the white out tape or the actual liquid white out. So this side will be for my weekly plan um, weekly layout, so Monday through Sunday. And then this is the side that I track all of my social media figures and whatnot. Um, I have had a few people ask me regarding the stencils, and I will link that um, link below. I picked mine up from Amazon. It came out in a multiple pack of stencils. So this is just the three I predominantly use. I have a lot more and I have these stencils because uh, when I make my traveler's notebooks I like to include um, a clear plastic stencil or a plastic stencil, it's, it's not clear, with each traveler's notebook that I make and it's just random whatever I have in my stash that I've purchased specifically for that then I'll just I'll pull one out. So for this week uh, again we're going to do just a simple pen only type of spread. And as I've mentioned uh, last week, I actually like that the top of the page has the days of the week. I do still write them in the actual day, but uh, sometimes, at least for me, I mean, I know what box goes to what, so it's, it's not like I don't 
know where Monday box is or Friday box is, but sometimes it can get lost to the specific dates. And so I actually like seeing that up there. Um, if just to give me a, a better visual of the days of the week. And so today we're using this stencil. Now last week, or the week we're just finishing up, because this is Sunday the 24th, um, Monday was a holiday, so I was, a, 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 I was able to film, edit some videos, and actually participate in a live um, with Tamika. I, wa I was able to watch it and be part of the group chat and that was super fun. Tuesday I went to work. Wednesday I woke up and I wasn't feeling well and so I just called out. I have sick leave so that was something I was able to do and then later on um, in the day I noticed and I don't know if you can see it but I have this redness here and this is hives. Well, now I know it's hives, but I knew it was an allergic reaction. So Thursday, called out again and went to the doctor and she says it was hives. I get this periodically throughout the year. The very first time it's happened to that extent was in December of 2017. I've, I've mentioned this before, but I had a really bad allergic reaction to some antibiotics. And what you see here was pretty much on 95% of my body, including my face and my scalp. Now what happens is um, it gets really red, it gets really hot, and it gets really swollen. So that's the only part that I can really show you because everything else is on my torso. And so it's it's not catching, it, it doesn't hurt necessarily as much as it is uncomfortable because I do, because I weigh myself um, like every day, every other day, I've gained about 12 pounds in swelling from one day to the next. I'm not eating as much, so I know it's not food consumption or calories. So with the swelling and the water retention, plus I think it's my monthly friend will be here in, in any day now, um, it's just last week was just a really no bueno week. I was actually have, supposed to have a procedure done on Friday, the... 22nd to get some spider veins taken out of my foot um, so that maybe that can help alleviate some other issues that I've been having and I wasn't able to do that because um, the doctor and I just decided because I don't know how the hives started we don't want to introduce anything else to my system that might have a negative effect when my system's already in not crisis mode, but it, it, it is more inflamed than it typically is. So I'm going to have to reschedule that. So third day. So for this week, I was off Monday, at work Tuesday, and then I was at home the rest of the week. And I was in bed pretty much the entire time. Yesterday, I was, I was feeling okay. So I actually did some crafting, but for the most part, I don't know. Um, I've just been completely relaxing. And on one hand, I know that's what I needed, but on the other hand, I feel like kind of a slacker because there are things that I just, I want to get done. So Friday is actually the first, Saturday the second, and Sunday the third. And again, it might seem redundant to have the days of the week left at the top, as well as writing it in here, but it doesn't bother me to see it at the top. And it certainly doesn't bother me here. And because I'm assuming it's going to be a busy catch-up work week, that I'm actually not going to be doing a lot in 
this planner for next week. And this is my weekly stats. And that's 225 through 3319. And I think 33 three is either Girls' Day or Boys' Day. It's one of those days here in Hawaii, and I think it originates from the Japanese culture. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out what that day is. So I'm tracking Etsy. I'm gonna see if I can put this in alphabetical order. So Joe and Mo, and then Facebook would be the next one. Instagram would be the next one. Pinterest would be the next one. Uh, I should have put um, blog, but clearly I didn't. So we'll do WordPress because that's who I blog with. And then YouTube will be the last one. And this is plus or minus. And I just um, track my stats on a weekly basis um, just to see if I'm progressing. So that's the week done and I want to upload a video on Monday and this past week because of everything that's been going on my upload schedule has just been all over the place so I'm hoping to get back to consistency for this week. I actually have some videos from last week that I still need to post. They've been edited, edited, I have edited them. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> but, um, and I can do that on my phone, but I don't like to write in the descriptions and the tags and whatnot on my phone because I just find that tedious. I'd rather be on a computer and I just, I haven't done any computer um, type things this week. And so on Sunday, I will be filming as I do typically on Sundays. And that would be Happy Planner Big Plan With Me, which is what I'm doing right now. Happy Planner Big Doodle. Because I do, instead of doing my doodles every day, I actually just do them once a week. It just, it's easier for me that way. I've got my Happy Planner Mini. And Happy Planner Classic which is my 52 by 20 challenge, and then my weekly budget, as well as March budget. So those are my film schedule for next week. Uh, throughout the week, and it's something I can migrate if I don't get it done. But I've made uh, quite a few of the Happy Planner mini covers that fit the classic and the expander rings to list in my Etsy shop. But now I just need to take pictures of them. So pics of Happy Planner mini cover. for my shop. And then here, hopefully I can get the listings done. Because once I do one listing, then I can just copy it and switch out the pictures. Um, but I need the pictures in order to be able to do that. So listings for happy planning mini cover. And I think I've made, well, okay. These, and hopefully it's not too crazy, but these are all the ones that I've made within the last 
couple of weeks and so now all of the work is done at least all of the crafting is done now I just need to uh, put the pictures take the pictures and then do the listings so there's that and those are to go into my Jojo shop I'm not really doing anything in my mojo shop which is my crochet shop and just to give myself a little bit of motivation Miss Jojo is hanging in there just to remind me it's it's okay we're gonna do our YouTube video planning And that's for YouTube. And I could write the bullets, I mean clearly, because I did it on that side, but for this one, I like that I can line it up easier when I use the stencil. Although it does move, so it does make it a little bit difficult sometimes. It would make it easier if I actually took them off the rings, which I'll need to do for this one. And the reason I include, I think I mentioned this last week, the stencil with the traveler's notebooks that I make is I don't have access to a Dollar Tree here in Hawaii. So the inserts that I'm able to include um, are not calendars. Because I know some of the people who do traveler's notebooks and they, they, they do tutorials and, and whatnot and they list them on um, Etsy, they include either a monthly calendar or a weekly calendar that they can pick up at the Dollar Tree, and that's not something I can pick up here. Now, I can order if I order in bulk. So if I order like 50 monthly calendars and 50 weekly calendars, then I can order from dollartree.com or, or something like that. But then the shipping is prohibitive, and it kind of takes away from the fact that it's a dollar item, so I don't do that here and I really need to get on top of the blog but when I'm not feeling well I prioritize what I need or what I want to get done and the blog is always the very last of that list so we're going to strive for two posts I'm not sure if that's going to happen up here we're going to do uh, Instagram and Facebook and I know that I was feeling some kind of way this week because there is actually a day that I didn't do a thought of the day. And I've done that consistently for over a year. Now I did post something, but I didn't post that. And I just, I wasn't feeling it. I was on social media for a little bit, but I actually just slept a lot this week. And on one hand, that was good because apparently I needed it. Plus the Benadryl that I take for the hives kind of makes me a little bit sleepy, especially if I do it on an empty stomach. But um, one, I was not productive at all this week and I'm pretty sure I have a ton of work to look forward to when I get back to the office. But also my hip hurts. <laughs> But that's more of a old lady <laughs> status than anything, I guess. Saturday and Sunday. And this is for Facebook group. 
And what I do is I will post a picture of the day or maybe a picture collage of my plan spread or, or whatever. And I'll post that to both Instagram and Facebook, but I'll also do another step of posting to a variety of Facebook groups that I belong to whether it's for the dashboard layout, whether it's a mini group, whether it's a happy planner group, whether it's for Erin Condren, because my budget planner is based on an Erin Condren, um, I will just post to the appropriate group for that. And then we're gonna do our doodle guys. And I did like the onigiri from last week, um, but I think we'll do one onigiri down here. Because I do like how that looks. And if I were feeling brave, I would do like a cupcake or something and make it kawaii with the face, but not feeling very brave today. So we'll just make him happy and then we'll do doodles and as I've mentioned this has nothing to do with social media or business but I do like how it looks and it makes me happy so I'm okay with it and actually, <laughs> we're going to make these sort of similar. And so, do we want them to be looking at him, or do we want them to be looking at him? Let's do both. Nope, he's looking at him. <laughs> looking at him and let's make one looking back up I don't know why this makes me so happy, but it does. All right, so we're gonna introduce some color. And I think we'll go for a gray and green theme this week. And I plan to check these off, so that's why it's okay to color them in, if you're wondering, because I have yet to do any of this stuff yet. And I know with all of the new Happy Planner stuff coming out, I know that people are buying 
um, new planners and, and whatnot, but this planner goes through December and I actually have no intentions of buying a new planner. There are some sticker books that I might like to add to my arsenal, but even that I might not be doing at all either. Uh, just because of access, but also, and I'm hoping to film a video that talks about it, um, the whole sticker book release, and I noticed this back in January, and like I said, I hope to have a, a video that talks about it a little bit more in depth, really makes me feel some kind of way, and not necessarily good. So, um, yeah. And we'll just, like I said, add in some color. And then on this side, I'm never really sure how the shading should go. So let's just shade here and here. And maybe that's the way it's supposed to look. how that looks. <laughs> so I'm just going to shade it. And I love mild liners and I actually have um, more than this and I should do a review but I think that's going to be a, a project for another day. So let's add some green to this side. The green doesn't necessarily match the green of this month's spread, but that's okay. And then we'll highlight this. We'll highlight this. And I think this is it. Now I should have taken it off the rings and you notice that I did for a few of it, but for the rest of it, I, I left it on and that's okay. Uh, but yeah, this is me for the week of the 25th through Sunday the 3rd. I did do a little bit of planning, which isn't always a thing for me, but I will be doing back planning as I go throughout the day or as I check in uh, throughout the week. And these are the, the videos that I'll be probably filming on the third and yeah we'll just we'll just go from there and then these two right here this will be my mojo shop and this will be pinterest but i'll i'll add that in in a second but yeah guys um as always aloha <laughs>